Hello, in this video, I am going to do a sewing demonstration on a 1939 Singer Featherweight that I actually just finished restoring for a customer. So before I send my machines out, I like to always do a video of the machines actually sewing, let you see the stitch up close, and this is just to share with the customer and anyone else who appreciates a beautiful featherweight. So this one was manufactured in 1939. And some of the things that I love about it is that it has the chrome edge on the hand wheel. And then the nose plate is that beautiful scroll work as well. This was in really great condition. Um, it needed to be cleaned up, but overall, the decals for the most part are still gorgeous. There is some wear on the bed, no pin rash, which is nice. There are a few scratches here and there, but nothing too significant. Considering the age of this machine, it is really beautiful. And the best part is its stitch quality and the way that it sounds is amazing. Now what I did on this machine is, besides all of the stuff that I normally do, take it apart and clean all the insides out and put everything back together and then fine tune and adjust it. I did put new feet on, it received a new belt, a new LED light, and I think that's about it. Oh, I also put a new felt pad in the bottom of the drip pan. but. The real reason why we're here is not just to ooh and ah over how beautiful it is. I want to do some sample sewing. So that's what I'm gonna set up for next. We're gonna focus in right here. And I will just ask if you hear any banging and clanging. I have actually resorted to filming in my basement today. I have construction going on in my house and it's very loud where I normally film. So, we're in the basement and hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter for us. So let's get started sewing. Okay, so we are all set up and we're ready to sew. And I kind of have a standard procedure here. I like to sew on standard cotton. And this is just a piece of cotton that I'm actually folding in half. I have the tension set at three, and I will not change that for the whole video. Even though I'll change how many layers I'm sewing over, I'm not going to mess with the tension. That is the beautiful thing about these machines. Generally, you can fix it and forget it. So I have my presser foot up, and I'm just sliding my fabric underneath. There's a little piece of fuzz. So we'll start out at the longest stitch length. That's six stitches per inch. And I will maybe hold my mic up to the motor at some point and around uh, the needle plate just so you can hear everything happening and what it sounds like really well. But first, let's look at the stitch. So this is six stitches per inch, and I'm going to move it to about somewhere like around 12, I think. I don't know how I got fuzz all over this. It's really quiet. This is just a standard needle that I'm sewing with. I'm going to move it up to the really fine stitch. That's 30 stitches per inch. You can sew very fast or you can sew very slow. Partially because this machine is using a new foot control. I decided to put a new one on this I know it's going to be used a lot and I think that overall the new foot control is great because they don't overheat or anything 
odd that might be a little scary for you. So let's just finish this out and look at the stitch. Raise my needle up and then we can just trim this thread. Okay. So first we have the six stitches per inch here. This is the 12. And this is the really fine stitch, 30 per inch. Flip this over so you can see the back. Looks just like the front. Upper lower tensions have been set properly. <laughs> I'm so pleased. I spent some time on this machine, so it's very rewarding to sew with it now. Okay, so the next test that I want to do is we're going to see how the machine performs when we start adding in heavier layers of fabric. And so I have a very long strip of cotton, and I will do this at 10. I fold the cotton, the long strip, in half. So this is starting out with two layers of fabric. Make sure I have some thread tails to hold on to here. So we'll start by just sewing 10 per inch, and I'll back tack here just so you can see that as well. Okay, now I'm I'm sewing along and I want to transition from two layers to four layers of cotton. So I have this very long piece and I'm just going to start to fold it up on itself. So I'm taking these two layers here and I'm adding it to the two layers I'm already sewing on and I'm just going to keep sewing. So far, no difference in sound. The belt has been set properly. It's not too tight, it's not too loose. Now I'm gonna fold it again. So this is four. Now we're moving up to eight. I'm gonna make sure I catch that. There we go. Still going. And then you know I like to go to 16. So there's eight here. If I fold it one more time, that will be 16 layers of cotton. I'm just gonna hold this here so it doesn't catch under on, on this little fork part of the foot. Into 16. No struggle, no slipping. Then we'll come back down all the way. Okay. So here is the front. Here's where we did our back tack. And I want you to pay attention to the stitch length, and I think I might have bumped it. Looks like we sewed more at a seven or an eight. But anyway, this is the front back tack all the way around. And this is the back. There's the back tack. As we transition from one layer to another, there's no shift in the stitch length, which is really important. If you do not have your feed adjusted properly and it's not tightened to the proper amount of firmness here, this can bounce up or down whenever you start to go over some thicker things. So it's nice to know it's set properly. So now what I'd like to do is just let you hear the machine sewing 
by taking my microphone that I have clipped to my shirt and holding it up to the machine. So let's see if I can do all of this at once. We'll move this to about a 10. I'm just gonna move my microphone so it might sound a little funny. Okay. Now back at the motor. I don't want to sew over my cord. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, hopefully you got a better idea of how that sounds. So that's it. As I mentioned, this machine is sold, but this is what I do and hopefully someone appreciated seeing and getting an idea of what a machine might look like after I'm done restoring it. This will come with the full accessory kit that it came with, the new foot control, and not a case. The case was the only thing that was in bad shape on this machine. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.